Hello everyone, welcome to the Lola Antia Show. Today I wanted to come on and talk about what your truth is because we talk about this a lot within the spiritual community. Speak your truth, express your truth, share your truth. And I hear a lot of responses of, how do I know what my truth is? What does that even mean? So I thought I wanted to do, I thought I would do a quick video kind of summarizing it, um, simplifying it, I think. Uh, for those of you who don't know me already, my name is Lalanti. I'm a psychic realm channeler and energy healer. And I specialize in working with the magical realms. I work with magical beings like dragons, unicorns, mermaids, fairies, all of the different magical guides. I work with angels, ascended masters, gods, goddesses, guides, all kinds of different energies. And I make videos about spirituality, about these different beings, about the lost lands like Atlantis, Lumeria, and Avalon. And I help you to connect to the magic of who you really truly are. So this video, I really want it to be quick and simple and kind of to the point because I think that we overthink this whole, what is your truth thing. So everybody has their own individual truth. So the thing is, is we are born into this world where we are raised by people who teach us how to be. They teach us what is they consider normal. So that's why people in different countries, normal looks different because that's how they're raised. That's what is normal to them. They take, we take on the truths of those that we spend time with. So we take on the truths of our, of our family, of our friends, of our teachers, of society that is around us. We take on the truths from the shows that we watch, the books that we read. And these aren't necessarily our truths. We're just taking it on because we want to fit in. We don't know any different. We don't know. We don't explore what really resonates with us. Now, there are some truths, <coughs> excuse me, that can be more obvious that maybe, maybe don't, like they do stand out in the beginning. So let's say you're raised in a family where you're taught that it is wrong to be gay, but you always know that you're gay. Now, there is a lot of people who are raised in families where they're taught that it's wrong to be gay, and they never know that they are gay until later on in life. So this does happen, and it is because this is what we're used to. This is what we see as normal. We just take on the beliefs of other people because we want to fit in. We want to be, we, we need to feel safe, and that's what feels safe. So it is really important that we explore our truths. Now, our truths don't all have to look the same. Even within the spiritual community, we have different truths. We believe in different things. Even though we all, let's say, you know, have a lot of the same foundations and integrities, although even within the spiritual community, there are people who are not high integrity, but, you know, there are just a lot of different beliefs and, that, and that's okay. That's what makes us all unique. Now, your truth doesn't have to look like the truth of your partner. Your truth doesn't have to look like the truth of your clients or the people that you're spending time with. Your truth can look like anything as long as it resonates and fits with you. And that's what is important is that you explore what your truths are. So you can begin to look at what are your family's beliefs or the beliefs of the people that you spend the most time with. Now, I think it's a good place to start with your family, um, assuming that's who raised you. So your family or whoever raised you and really look at their beliefs and see what really is true. Like, is that, is, is that belief, is that truth, my truth, or is that just their truth? And really begin to explore that and, and dig into it and ask yourself a lot of questions. What, what really feels right to me? What really deeply resonates with me as my truth? Now, your truth doesn't have to be really big things all of the time. Like, I don't know. It's, your truth can be anything that resonates with you and with who you are. Now, your truths are like this light of the essence and power of who you truly are. And that's why it's important and why we talk about share your truth, speak your truth, you know, like the importance of doing that because your truth is terribly important because that is a part of who you are and your light and your power and, and, and who you are is needed in this world. You came here as you and you're the only you that there is. So sharing you, speaking your truth is really important and it doesn't have to look like anybody else, else's truths. So begin to explore that. So your truth is anything that you believe 
not believe because people told you to believe it, not believe because that's all that you know, believe it because that is what deeply resonates and feels right to you. Now, I have an example. I was raised in a very religious family and I never, as long as I can remember, resonated with their beliefs. It never, it never clicked with me, but I didn't think about it that much. It was just like, it, it was what it was. Like, I didn't really think of life in a different way until, you know, I, I grew up and I left the church um, when I was an adult and I was able to make my own decisions. And I didn't really, the, the thing that was hard was leaving what I knew, right? Leaving what I knew and was familiar to me. But I knew that I didn't believe the same as them. And I knew that it was important for me to, you know, be more authentic to me. Now, it still took years for me to find more of what my truths were because, I just knew that that wasn't my truth, but I didn't know what my truths were regarding spirituality and all of that. So it took time <coughs> and we don't have to figure it all out. We don't have to like go into it and, and be like, okay, this is my truth. This is my truth. This is my truth. No, your truths are revealed to you as you go. Um, let's see. So even your friends that you spend a lot of time with right now, we can easily take on the beliefs of other people. We can do this in the books that we read, the shows that we watch, and from spending time with other people. So this is why it's really important to have that deep connection with yourself so that you know, okay, that doesn't really resonate with me. It doesn't mean that we need to judge them or that anything's wrong with their truth. Their truth is okay. That's fine. That's their truth. It doesn't have anything to do with you, right? And, you know, sometimes there is that place for, you know, healthy discussion regarding truths, but sometimes it's just like, oh, that's their truth and that's okay. And we don't have to, you know, go into it too much. But I believe that it's really important that, you know, the books that we read, that we, you know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, but have that connection to self so that you know what does resonate. When I got first got on my spiritual path, I was so desperate for information. I was ready to read anything and believe anything. And I be began to get overwhelmed because there was so much stuff and some of it contradicted each other. And it was just like this overwhelming information and not all of it was my truth. And I didn't know that I just wanted, I just wanted to soak it all in. I just wanted to know it all, but that was okay. Because eventually in going through that, I began to realize what is my truth and what isn't my truth. So tune into yourself and tune into what feels right to you. So you begin by exploring, you know, the different beliefs of those around you and finding what is your truth. And then you make sure that you stay tuned into your heart and tuned into what feels right in your heart. Now, we do hold a lot of emotion in this place. So it's almost like going deeper into that and asking questions. Does this deeply resonate with me? Does this feel right to me? Ask a lot of, you know, why, why, why? And journal and dig into it. I will ask myself these questions in my head. Sometimes I'll sit down and journal about why and just keep asking why to kind of get to the bottom of it. Now, remember that your truths can change. So I know that sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready to do a video on that because I feel like there's still so much more to come. Well, that's okay. If there's still more to come, I'll do another video. If my truth changes regarding something, then I can you know, take the video down. But we're always learning. We're always growing. We're always expanding. You don't have to have everything figured out. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's just one step in understanding the bigger picture and understanding more of who you are. So I am excited to do another video on um, like it's being in your power, standing in your power and how the, how you do that. And this really felt like an important first step to that video. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that it resonates with you or that you got something from this. If you have any questions, you can post them below. I'm happy to answer answer them for you. If you feel called to go deeper to really explore this with some support and guidance with someone who isn't going to put 
their beliefs on you. I am available for one-on-one -on -one sessions as well as um, I do mentoring as well. So if you feel called to do that, my link is below. You can also sign up for my newsletter and you will get a free quiz to see which magical guide you may be called to work with most at this time, as well as two meditations um, as soon as you sign up uh, for the newsletter. You can also join my group called Source Versus Circle on Facebook where you can have an opportunity to get some free content, like uh, sometimes I do some free moon circles, I put up um, some inspirational posts, and I answer lots of questions about different beings and spirituality, so you are welcome to join us there as well. I hope that you are having a wonderful week, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!